want to rewind to the mean stock frenzy of January 2021 in this segment as part of our Taxes Made Simple series presented by Tax Act. If you were bagging some attendees off of AMC or, or GME, it's likely the case you're going to have to let the IRS know, in addition to the Reddit threads themselves. Rocco Carrero is Wealth Partners founder and private wealth advisor who's been looking into the proper way to be reporting these things. Rocco, a simple question here. Let's say you made some money on Robinhood off of those meme stocks in 2021. How do you report that as you're in the final days of filing for the season? Well, um, most financial institutions would be sending you out some type of a 1099 document that you would have received sometime uh, late January up through the middle of March. But uh, even if you didn't receive that information from the from the financial institution, it's still your responsibility to reach out to the financial institution where you do have your assets and make sure you get that documentation because you are still going to be responsible for the taxes uh, should you have made some gains. All right. So, but that means that you would have had to, to sell your holdings. So let's say, for example, you're still holding, you don't have to report it, right? Yeah. If, if you're still holding those those holdings that you've had some gains with, but you haven't uh, sold them, uh, you don't. But uh, but if you own a security that happens to be paying a uh, a dividend, you could be responsible for the income that that that, that security is being generated uh, for you. Okay. How about the people that didn't get income because they lost a bunch of money because they bought at the top and then they sold at the bottom? That's another great point. Uh, you know, people that um, that were messing around with, uh, you know, tr trying to speculate on certain securities and ended up by losing money, uh, they should receive those tax forms as well. Um, you, if you if you have a loss, you want to be able to either use that loss against your gains, or uh, you want to if you if you have no losses to offset, uh, if you have no gains to offset your losses with, you want to be able to carry those forward on your tax return for the future. Uh, whether you get a uh, income tax deduction as a result of it, or if you could offset your future gains against your losses. Really good point. Um, how do you do that if you want to carry it forward? Because uh, is, is that something that the basic tax software can allow you to do? That sounds a little advanced. Yeah, I, I believe uh, the basic tax, where, back, uh, basic tax software program would allow you to do that. Um, however, you know what we always suggest is that that people do consult and work with a um, a qualified tax advisor just to make sure they're doing everything uh, they're doing everything correctly. Uh, that's usually a, a good rule of thumb because again, if you make a mistake through using uh, some type of a software program uh, and you said, "Well, I really didn't understand it," you are still responsible for the the penalties and the interest that's associated with the uh, with the gain or the loss. And running out of time, right? Uh, April 18th, I believe, is the final date here. That's correct. Unless you file an extension, uh, which which a lot of people seem to be doing. We've been pretty lucky over the past few years by having the tax deadlines extended uh, due to COVID. But uh, but this year, it's uh, it's I guess it's required to be on time. All right. Well, I've got mine done already, so at least I'm good on that front. Rocco Carrero, Wealth Partners founder and private wealth advisor. Thanks so much for stopping by. Yahoo thanks Finance for this morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you.